We're asked to eliminate the parameter t to write a Cartesian equation for y as a function of x. So for the first step, let's rewrite the parametric equations as x equals e to the power of 3t and y equals e to the power of 12t. Because we want y as a function of x, it'll be easiest if we solve this equation for t involving x and t and then perform a substitution into the second equation involving t and y. So to solve this equation for t, we will have to use logarithms. We'll take the natural log of both sides, and we're using natural log because this is base e. So we'll have natural log x equals natural log e to the power of 3t. And now we can apply the power property of logarithms on the right side. We can move this exponent to the front of the natural log. So now we have natural log x equals, this would be 3t times natural log e, but natural log e is equal to one, so this simplifies. So now we'll just divide both sides by three to solve for t. So we have t equals natural log x divided by three. And now we'll perform a substitution into the equation involving t and y. We can replace t with natural log x divided by three. So we'll have y equals e raised to the power of 12 times natural log x divided by three. Well, notice how the 12 and the three simplify. This is the same as 12 over one. So the three simplifies to one and the 12 simplifies to four. So we can write this as y equals e raised to the power of four natural log x. Now we do have y as a function of x, but this right side does simplify. There's a couple of things we can do. We can use the power property of logarithms again and take the coefficient of four and move it to the exponent on the x. So we have y equals e raised to the power of natural log x to the fourth. Now the reason this is helpful is, remember, the reason this is helpful is now we have base e here and this is log base e. So when we have a base, raised to the power of a log with the same base, it's just equal to the number part of the logarithm here. So we just have y equals x to the fourth. So y as a function of x would be y of x equals x to the fourth. Actually, either of these forms are acceptable. This just emphasizes that we do have y as a function of x. But we do have to be careful because this function does have a restricted domain. Going back up to our parametric equation involving x and t, notice that x is equal to e raised to some power. Well, e raised to some power is always going to be greater than zero, which means x, the domain of our Cartesian equation, must be greater than zero. So this is our function, but it would have a restricted domain of x is greater than zero. This would be especially important if they wanted to graph this function. Because of the restriction on the domain, we only graph the polynomial function when x is greater than zero. Notice how it might be easy to forget about the restriction on the domain and graph the left side of this polynomial function as well, but that would be incorrect based upon the fact that we found this using the original parametric equations. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.